Oh, yo. Yo, it's that time of the year. Um, May. No, we're in June. <laughs> I don't even know what month it is, that's funny. It's that time of the year when... Actually, it starts in early May, so for the last four weeks, but it'll carry on. where well, the sun comes round at sunset time, it's nice and high in the sky. Um, still, even though it's setting. It's kind of the setting sunset sun, but not quite. And I can look out my window and sun gaze to my heart's content, and it feels so fucking blissful. Close your eyes if you don't, can't hack the sun, but open it up and look at that sunset and feel it rebalancing your brain, calming your brain down, resetting your circadian rhythm, providing nutrition, sunlight nutrition straight into the bloodstream at the back of your eyes. Right? How powerful is that, my friend? Feels great. I love the rebalancing of it the most. Your eyes are an extension of your brain. Your eyes have direct contact through the soft porous layers here into the um, suprachiasmatic nucleus which controls the circadian rhythm but also the pineal gland, the hypothalamus, the amygdala which gets damaged by trauma. So sun gazing removes trauma from the brain. Whichever sun you look at, midday, very powerful, sunset, sunrise, anytime, anytime, anytime. It's beautiful, blissful and it's rebalancing and calming and sun gazing is your highest vibration. So I want you to never forget that. Any sun gaze is good for your eyes raise you by one bit of information I learned recently is really powerful is that specifically for short sightedness and far sightedness um, short sighted people if you're short sighted like myself I don't wear glasses but I'm short sighted the best ones to heal your eyes specifically although you should do any sun gaze the best ones to see your eyes is sunrise sun, 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 sunset red light therapy to the eyes it really will heal your short sightedness but if you're long sighted far sighted the best one is the midday sun gaze which has got more prominent blue so that's good information that I learned recently in the book um, I put it in my new book on sun gazing, sunlight and nudism, which I write next year, and I'll tap on the, I'll re go over new information like that in my sun gazing book. But I'll never get bored of sun gazing. It's so beautiful, it's blissful and calmful to sit here and sun gaze and to receive that beautiful light. It's also warm now because when it's summertime, so you feel the warmth on your face, the beta endorphins, you know, and the endo and the oxytocin. See what to listen to. But yeah, your eyes are the most important part of your eye light, so keep looking at them. Keep looking at the sun. Remember, before I leave, that they're telling you not to look at the sun because they don't want you to be healthy. That's why they came trail the sky. So when the sun is out, make sure you do look at the sun because you want to be healthy and you want to do what they don't want you to do, which is to know that you are a really powerful being and you can be as healthy as you want to be and you can raise your vibration to whatever level you want to in this avatar. So Thanks very much for joining me. Happy sun gazing. Have a beautiful day. I love you very much. Bye.